sees an army rising up. There's an army rising up. That's a good song to hear right about now. But why are we here today? Because before I start, I wanted a few moments alone with you. By resurrection, he has risen. He has risen. This is just a quick for y'all to listen to today. I'm thanking YouTube, Facebook, and Zoom for allowing me to broadcast this. Well, I'm saying that because I think it's a privilege God set all this up so I can use it for His benefit, not for mine. Amen. For those who have their Bibles, go to Luke chapter 24, verse 6. He has risen. Why are you looking for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. How how he told you while he still was with you in Galilee. The Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of the sinner to be crucified. And on the third day, on the third day, be risen again. Then they remembered his word. They remembered his words. Those same words right now means a lot to you today. He has risen. He has risen because he took the sins on the cross for you. That's why Resurrection Sunday is so important. It is so important in the Christian life. Because he has risen. Now, you say, what's that got to do with me? You can't be delivered from things that kept binding you in these chains all these years. He went to the grave and rose on the third day. But while he hung on that cross, he buried all your sins. This is what today, when he rose, he had all power in heaven and hell. Nothing is out of his reach. I come to you because today I want you to realize what resurrection is. He's freed you from so many things, but you still walk around in bondage. It's time to break them chains. It's time to clear your mind. It's time to watch your mouth, watch your eye gates and your ear gates what goes in. You are a child of God. And those who are the child of God, this is time for you to be able to become a child of God. Because he took away all our sins, mine and yours. Yes, I used to be in this world. Yes, I was a sinner. And like Paul said, he was a chief sinner. I think I was too. I think I was next in line. But anyway, back. I'm so ecstatic to realize that God came here and shed his blood. So I be able to be welcome in his home whenever I'm finished here. But while I'm here, his anointing and his power will cover me. Cover me. But all these chains and everything that's on you that you think you can't get free of, free of addiction, Free of fornication, free, free of lusting, free of gambling, free of lying, free of stealing. Just free of not doing the right things in life. You can change. You can come out the streets, my brother and sister, because you know I used to be out there. But God has changed me. And he can change you. I know a lot of y'all still scratching your head. 
how God took a wretched man like me and using him as one of his mouthpieces. I'm an ambassador for Christ with his word. I'm a minister of his word. I just come to tell you that I'm happy that he uses me. I thought I was living when I was in the world when my soul was dying. But now my soul lives and I'm dead to the world. That's the difference. And I just want you to know this too. Because when I just told you that, I want you to remember this. For if we have been united with him in death, in death like his, we will we will also be united in him in resurrection as his. He freed us. The resurrection is for you right now. Resurrect yourself away from that bottle today. Resurrect away from that lusting today. Resurrect yourself from that carnal mind of yours. Watch your mouth today. Watch your ears. Watch your eye gates. Watch what goes in there. It's time to change and get ready for God. All these things you see in the world right now, it's not coincidence. It's all Bible prophecy. But I want you to take these home with you. And let me home in your heart. It's time for you to say, Lord, I need to change. And this is to be a good time to do it on Resurrection Sunday. All you got to say is, Lord, I'm a sinner. I need to be saved. I believe in Christ. Died for my sins and rose on the third day. I believe, Lord, in his power to save me. Lord, as I pray to you today, deliver me from evil. Cast the far away from me. Show me what I must do to be walking with you, Lord. Approve me today. Change my life today. Lord, I surrender all to you, my God. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, you get in touch with Save a Life Ministry or go to the nearest church you're supposed to be at and tell them you prayed this prayer with Reverend James Moore and you're ready to change your life. So on Resurrection Sunday, today, show yourself victorious because you walk with Christ if you said that sinner's prayer with me. Bless everybody out there today. And if you don't think this means nothing to you. Everybody knows when I do a broadcast. I always say this. If God showed up right now. Will he be happy. To see what you're doing. The devil is a liar. He'll tell you you got time. You got time. Keep on sinning. Keep on fornicating. Keep on drinking. Keep on doing the things that's keeping you blocked from God. That's what he wants you to believe. But the truth being, time is running out. We know not the hour or the time he will come, but he's coming. And shouldn't you be living your life like he's coming right now, this second, this moment? Shouldn't you? There's nothing holding you back but you. Turn your life over to God. You tried everything else out here. Try him. Try him today and see if he won't change your life. This is Reverend James T. Moore, and I'm getting ready to sign off now and get about my father's business. Amen? Amen. And if you want to donate to Save Life Ministry, it's Cash App, Reverend James Moore. Dollar sign, Save a Life Ministry. That's how you get in touch. I mean, that's how you leave your donations. If you're trying to get in touch with me, the number's right back there. But also, uh, you can hit me up right here on one of these platforms you're watching me on. Because if you're on YouTube, you're watching me. If you're on Zoom, you're watching me. If you're on Facebook, you're watching me. 
I tell you, today can change your life forever. Remember, this is Resurrection Sunday, where all things are possible. In Jesus' name, amen.